What's going on, you guys? Pat Vladipos here. This review will contain spoilers, which means you've seen the show, I've seen the show, my phone is already muted, let's get started. Yeah, I'm going to be cutting it pretty close with this one, aren't I? Um, Daredevil Season 2, I said I was going to, I don't know if I said it in a video or in a comment, but I said I was going to review this, uh, you know, before Luke Cage comes out, or close to when Luke Cage comes out. Pretty fucking close, not gonna lie. Um, so yeah, this video, like I said, will contain spoilers, so if you haven't seen Daredevil, uh, go watch Daredevil Season 1, 2, Jessica Jones, fucking Stranger Things, anything Netflix makes, because they're just fucking aliens that know how to make really fucking good shows consistently. I, it's weird, but awesome at the same time. So yeah, there's that. Um, but yeah, go watch uh, Daredevil Season 1 and 2, or if you don't care about spoilers, welcome. I accept all viewers, as long as you're a view. Even if you're just going to talk shit, go for it. But uh, Daredevil Season 2. Uh, there's a lot to talk about, and I don't want this review to be rambly, so I'm going to talk about spoilers and everything, but I'm going to try to make it you know, as quick as I can, uh, especially since I haven't seen the season in a, quite a while. I'm going off of memory, so yeah, this shouldn't be too long of a review. But anyways, let's get started. My initial thoughts on this season is that it's really, really, really great, <laughs> like the first season. I personally would probably put them on par with each other. I recognize that the second season is probably better than the first season, but in my own personal opinion, uh, with my personal biases against characters like Elektra and some of the story elements, I personally would put it like on par with the first season. I really love that they upped the action. I love that he fights ninjas in this one, and just not even just fighting ninjas, but just the actual scale of the action is upped. I mean, the, the stairwell scene when he's beating the fuck ever, out of everybody in one fucking continuous take, like, are you, that's phenomenal, are you kidding me? So, that was great. Uh, you know, you got that fight in the hospital was great. Uh, you got the ninjas with the whole, like, you know, you can't read their movements. They're very silent. That's fucking great. It's it's awesome. Uh, and they really do bring in more of a supernatural element to these ninjas. And that, you know, helps out the story and type, brings it more into, like, the Marvel Cinematic Universe and everything. And it's really, really cool. Uh, even though these are gritty, realistic shows on the Netflix uh, side of things, I'm glad they'll still keep the supernatural elements. And, uh, yeah, a lot of the elements of the story were really, really great. You know, you had Punisher doing his thing, and he was a great character, played fucking amazingly by his actor, whose name I don't know right now. I feel like part of his name is Bernthal, but I could be wrong. Um, wait, is that, no, his name's Frank Castle, so Bernthal, is that, I don't know, I don't remember his full name, but the actor does an absolutely phenomenal job, and I definitely prefer him over Elektra. The Elektra storyline is good for bringing Stick back, because Stick is awesome, and bringing in the ninjas, but as far as, like, the hand in general, they the, yeah, they were the hand, right? I'm pretty sure. And uh, it's cool to bring all those characters back, but Elektra herself, uh, I'm not a fan. And I guess that's a good transition into the characters. As far as story goes, like I said, action upped amazingly. Lots of cool new supernatural... Excuse me, lots of cool new supernatural elements. And yeah, they just did a really good job as far as the main story goes. But as far as like the characters go, I think that's my real issue. No problem with like Foggy or uh, Karen or anything like that. They're fine. They they get expanded on very nicely, and their storylines play out very well. It's cool to see Foggy stepping up in the courtroom when Matt's not there. And I'll get to Matt not being there because that's one of the things I don't like. But yeah, um, Karen, her Punisher thing, that was good. It was a good storyline to give her because uh, you know you can give your female love interest or your female like normal character. A pointless filler storyline, especially in a TV show where you have to fill up the runtime and everything. But they don't give her that, which is really, really great. It's not like Lois Lane from Batman v Superman, where it's like, I think Lex Luthor, hold on, I think Lex Luthor is the bad guy. Like, what the fuck? Like, get the fuck out of here. That was such a useless fucking filler. So, her storyline was pointless. But Karen is done much, much better. And I always try to take shots at Batman v Superman whenever I can, because fuck that movie. Not entirely, it has its merits, but I'm not reviewing Batman v Superman. If you want to see a review of that movie, go to my channel and go back a few pages. But anyways, as far as the other characters, the new characters are concerned, Punisher and Elektra. I don't like Elektra. You can probably already tell, you know, going as this video was going. I'm not a fan of Elektra, I don't like what she does with Matt's character, having him, like, not even avoid, but just not be where he needs to be as far as his job goes, and I get what he's doing is important. From a story standpoint, there's really nothing wrong with her. From a narrative standpoint, there's really nothing wrong with her. She has characterization, she has some depth. I just don't like her character. I just, I don't like... I don't know, know what it is about her, I just, I just... Even the way she... I, I hate to, like, digress, kind of, but, like, even the way she gets her size, it, like, her iconic weapon of Electra is just 
a guy had him and she just took him from him. Like, it's just... I, and then the Black Sky thing, I thought was a disappointing reveal. Like, what is the... You're born to be a badass killer? Like, what? Like, I don't even... I don't even know what Black Sky really is. Like, did they really explain it? It's been a while since I've seen it. I could be wrong, so... Feel free to correct me. Don't jump down my throat. I'm totally admitting I could be wrong there if they did properly explain it, but... Yeah, Black Sky was a disappointing reveal, and, uh... Yeah, it's the Electra storyline had a lot of good elements, but overall, I didn't like her character, and that's just the big thing. And Matt, like, wanting to be with her at the end, was just like, eh, like, Matt, really? Like, this bitch is a bitch. Like, I, I guess she had depth. There wasn't, she wasn't just always a bitch, but I just, I wasn't a huge fan of her. Again, it's been a while since I've seen it. If I watch the second season again, gained a different perspective, who knows? Punisher stuff, though. I love the Punisher stuff. Him interacting with uh, Wilson Fisk, a.k.a. Pin, uh, Kingpin, which I'm getting a little ahead of myself there, but that stuff was great. Uh, even Matt inter interacting with him, was that was a great fucking scene in the prison, but I'm really curious how they're going to bring that character back in uh, possibly Season 3, most likely Season 3. But yeah, that was, that was great. Those were great interactions, but back to Punisher, just to reel it back in. Frank Castle, great character, great performance. Uh, he just... So cool. <laughs> it's just such a cool character with really cool ideology, and you get where he's coming from, and those were some of the best episodes. Like, the first four episodes of Daredevil Season 2 were some of the best episodes of television you could fucking watch, and uh, I do think the series slows down after that. Uh, not 100%, but it does slow down, in my opinion, and uh, yeah, I definitely think this season is on par with the first one. Probably objectively speaking, it's probably better, but in my opinion, I think it's about on par with the first season, and uh, overall... While I really, really enjoyed it, I do have my issues with the uh, with the Electra character, which is a big part of the season. Like, I hate to dwell on it, but it is a big part of the season that I have an issue with, personally. But if you didn't have an issue with her and you liked her character, that's totally cool, too. I can see why. It's just, for me, personally, not a huge fan. But yeah, this season really ups everything. It ups the supernatural elements. It ups the action. It ups the characters. It does a great job in pretty much all regards. You have that stick scene with the torture which was so effectively cringy that I fucking hate it you don't fuck with fingers that's an instant pet plot was zero out of ten for that one scene you don't fuck with fingers but joking aside that was a that was an effective torture scene and uh yeah I'm kind of digressing there but I really don't have much else to say um like I had like things to say but not really much at the same time like I could go into like oh this one act scene was really really badass but you guys don't need to see that in a review so yeah, it was just a really, really great season. Regardless of my opinions on Elektra, it was still fantastic. Great storytelling, and all in all, I thought it was just fucking awesome. So I can't wait to watch Luke Cage. Uh, Marvel is just killing it. Marvel and Netflix, excuse me, are just killing it with these shows. Jessica Jones was great. Daredevil Season 1, Season 2. Luke Cage is going to be awesome. I'm going to try to get a Luke Cage review to you guys reasonably fast. I mean, i got to watch all the episodes, so... I mean, with Stranger Things, I'll probably do a Stranger Things uh, season review or something at some point, but, uh, because that was a great show, and I pretty much binged, like, almost all of that in one fucking day. That was so good. I don't know if Luke Cage is going to be like that for me. Uh, pacing is really the big thing there, if I'm going to just binge that. Uh, but yeah, we'll see if I have the time and everything, and I'll try to get a Luke Cage review out pretty fast. But, uh, with all that being said, but what did you guys think of Daredevil Season 2? You can go ahead and tell me in the comments section below. You can also follow me on Instagram or add me on PSN. I'm Pat Plot, what's on both. Also give this video a thumbs up and share it on social media. Both of those would help me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already or if you like what you see in here. And I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.